stories. People buy from people they know, like, and trust. That's why you have to have good stories because you have to get people to know you, like you, and trust you through those stories. Now, I, I'm pretty sure that you probably have your loyal customers and you know they come in you know, every week and they bring their friends and you know, help you out on social media. And, and hopefully you treat them right so that they tell their friends and their friends tell their friends. Word of mouth is the best and it's free. PR is free. I've sold about a million units of my wrist water bottle product with zero advertising. No advertising, I've never done it. It's all been through PR, social media, and word of mouth. It's all free, but you have to give them unique stories. And I was noticing on my uh, website that my product was in a diving magazine, <laughs> which was kind of odd. You know, you can't wear them underwater, but I think it was because, you know, it's a similar audience, people who love outdoor sports and adventure, and that's why they picked it up. So the thing is, you know, it's also, it was on the Today Show twice, but the, you know, the media is not going to pick up your story. The local newspaper is not going to pick up your story and your product and your dive shop unless you have great stories. As a Hollywood publicist, I remember someone brought a client to me and they were starting a chocolate company. And I said, oh, that's great. Well, what kind of chocolate? What's unique about it? Um, nothing really. They just sell chocolate. I said, well, chocolate covered ants? Chocolate covered puzzle pieces? Are the owners former circus clowns? Anything? Nah, they just sell chocolate. I can't call the Today Show with that. <laughs> what am I going to do with that? They'll, they'll hang up on me. You have to have something interesting and unique. And what I have found is that most people do have a good story, either in their private lives or in their business. They're not using them. Either they think you know, other people wouldn't be interested or they don't know how to use the stories. So you have to find your own unique stories. And if you are the most boring person in the world, you have the most boring business in the world, that's okay. Because we are going to find how you can take the stories you already have and, and get them out there. And I don't mean lie about it. I just mean make them some kind of unique story that people want to talk about.